Alrighty, what's up guys? Another day, another video, and I haven't said that in a while. It's been a while since I've been in front of the camera. To make a long story super short, moved into this new spot in July. It's now September 1st as I'm filming this. So we've been here for about two months now. Been busy getting settled in. Work is actually busy. But the one thing that hasn't slowed down as bad as it is, is my sneaker pickups. So I'm thinking I could do like a big sneaker unboxing compilation here because I film every single sneaker unboxing that I do. Uh, one to use as B-roll, but two to have as a backup just in case anything fishy goes on in packages. You know, it's a crazy sort of world right now. I always video it just to just to have a double backing. Right now, I have three sneakers here, all from Nike. If you can tell by their stupid box tape, which they need to get rid of, this is how packages get stolen. So I'm going to unbox these, and then we're going to shoot into the past. And I guess I'll probably do some sort of voiceover. So we'll go up top first. Again, it's from Nike. And this one I actually picked up from the FedEx store. I should have realistically peeled off these address stickers or whatever, but I'll blur it out, um, at least for now. But I picked these up at the local FedEx location because I was actually away. Here is a Nike sneakers pickup. This one, if you can tell, it's the undefeated five on it collab. This one is a pair of dunks. It's funny because the most popular video on my channel that's borderline viral, or I'd say it's viral now, is unyellowing midsoles, and here it is, 2021. You know, people love this aged, distressed, sort of worn look, and now they're coming like this out of the factory. So this is a sweet pair. I hit on sneakers. Spoiler, another package here of that three is this pair. And then I also hit on Undefeated on the release. Um, that was a week before the sneakers released. So yeah, I'm definitely gonna keep one for sure. Might sell the two, might use one as trade bait because I missed out on the canteen pair. Um, so we'll see on that. Here is the other one. I'm not going to go crazy with this, but just want to double check that everything is all good. Here's the second pair. Wow, this box paper is crisp. Same thing there. Perfect. Let's take them out real quick. Sheesh. Yeah, so these two sort of came around the same time from the Nike sneakers app. And then the one from Undefeated took forever to ship, but eventually showed up. Not sure what to do with the other. We'll figure it out. If you guys are interested in copying, let me know. Hit me up on Instagram, Stuff Dylan Likes or Stuff Dylan Sells. I'll probably post a pair up on there. And then I guess part of that too, we got this pair of the Forces as well. Um, I'll sprinkle in that unboxing clip right now, uh, but I also hit on these on my sneakers account So I guess just for some additional context This pair of forces and one pair of dunks came from my personal sneakers account and then the other pair of dunks that I showed earlier uh, Came from Steph's so we got a little three-peat there, which is nice And then I guess three-peat of the dunks because I have a pair back at my house house And then here is a package that just came in right now. I caught the UPS guy at the front door If you couldn't tell what these are these just dropped last Saturday again, like I mentioned September 1st So these came pretty quickly all things considered For retro my usual nine and a half Here they are, Jordan 4 Lightnings. I know this was definitely a highly anticipated sneaker of 2021. Big resurgence on 4s right now. People are loving the 4s. So definitely, definitely good cop for sure. 220 retail is kind of steep, but these are just only gonna go up in value. I could even wear these a bunch of times and sell them probably for as much as I bought them for. Um, but this is pair number one. Pair number two is actually en route. Definitely gonna sell one, I don't need two, but for sure, great pickup. But shout out to Philly as well. We were down there for the weekend seeing my friends Will and Lana, shout out to you guys. Hit on these in our Airbnb, so definitely very excited about these. But yeah, that about does it for these three sneaker unboxings. We're gonna cut to a bunch of clips. This is probably gonna be like a 20, 30 minute video. Hope you guys have some time to kill. Hope you guys enjoy again. Follow me on Instagram. Hit me up if you're interested in picking up anything. I'm not married to anything, so I'm always open to selling things. But yeah, hope you guys enjoy. Catch you guys in the voiceover section. Peace. Alrighty, jumping in here. This first one isn't actually in an unboxing. It was actually more of an in-person pickup. So this is from Foot Locker on 34th Street in the city. 
I got lucky on Foot Locker's release app and I hit on the pair of the Airtrain 4 white Oreos. Personally, I'm not crazy about them. I'm not really understanding the 4 hype. There are certain colorways that I certainly do like, but this one is just a so-so one to me. It's pretty much an all-white leather with hits of gray, uh, which is why they're calling it the white Oreo. I think it's a good take on the Oreo set of Jordan 4s from the past, but this one, not too much. But this was July 3rd, and seeing the prices now a few months later, they're definitely very high, and I could see why, I guess, just given the colorway. But the overall makeup, build, quality, etc, etc, isn't just worth that $300, $400 price range that they're going for. Probably gonna sell these, who knows. So a few days later on July 5th, an email hit my inbox saying that I won a raffle from Amamaniere for these Adidas Yeezy 700 boosts, the minivans in this blue tint colorway. I wasn't particularly crazy about this colorway, especially given the fact that I went on the resale market and bought the blue cyans literally a week before. But I guess I just so happened to enter a few raffles and this was the one to get back to me. People are definitely considering the blue tints as bricks because they don't go for much in the resale market, but really it's the older colorways of the 700 minivans that go for a lot. I think if you give these a little bit of time, these will be worth 300 400 bucks in a few months. Definitely an interesting sneaker for sure. I think having them in hand compared to the blue science especially, I think this pair is definitely more neutral, more reserved compared to that bright blue. Both very interesting colorways, you know I'm into weird stuff, so definitely a good pickup for me. So this next one I'm not going to get into, I'm going to see if I can do this under 15 seconds, but I already uploaded the video on this pickup, be sure to go check it out on the channel. Yeah, great pair of sneakers. Following those Kentucky Dunks though is a pretty funny pickup. Initially I was going to pass on the Jordan 3 Racer Blues just because you know we're in the middle of a move, expenses are kind of high, don't need another pair of sneakers more than I already have. But I saw online that they were wristbanding at certain Dick's Sporting Good locations and Shout out to Steph, she was at work, and she just so happened to be right around the corner from Dick's Sporting Goods, so I politely asked her to go out and see if they had any wristbands available, and before you know it, she had a wristband. The one thing that was kind of an L about it though is that they ran out of 9.5s and 10s, which is the size I usually go for, so she had to opt for a 10.5, but fortunately we have a lot of friends that are in 10.5, so we're able to retail Oop, one of my boys. So you know, with that in mind, I was like, alright, cool, I just saved myself 190 bucks. Uh, fast forward a few days later that following Monday, I was on Twitter and I saw that Sneaker Twitter had posted a restock link on Hibbit Sports. And, you know, I was at the right place at the right time, I was able to cart them, and I even saw on my account that I had a $10 off reward. So I was just like, eh, why not? And I did it. So I haven't worn them yet. I do like them a lot. They look very similar to this pair that you're going to see in a little bit. And you know, the combination on there, you can't really beat it. White leather, blue hits, Jordan 3 recipe for success in my mind. All right, so Dylan from the future chiming in here. Today is November 16th. I know at the beginning of this video, I mentioned it was September 1st, and truthfully, I haven't gotten around to finishing this project. At this point, I've already invested so much time in creating it, I might as well wrap it up, even though it's literally several months later. Following that, the sneaker that I picked up that summer, or V's, Air Jordan 1 box, here they are, the Air Jordan 1 Electro Orange is what they're called. Let me move this box actually. At one point in time, I had three pairs of these. So the first one I got lucky on the general release from Nike Sneakers. I, mean, I was so fortunate to get them on there, which is always great. And then the second one I hit on a raffle from Noble, if you guys don't know what Noble is. It's a regional foot store here in the New York, New Jersey area. For the first time I hit on a raffle there. It's always a good feeling to get that email in your inbox that you're a raffle winner. I've been getting a lot of those this year, which is awesome. And then the third pair I got was from a Nike sneakers pass. So that one was funny in itself. It had a whole backstory. I was lucky enough to get them on a sneakers pass and pick them up from Nike Soho location. At the time, when was that? I have it in my spreadsheet right here on my computer. I guess it's not relevant, but when I got that pair in back in July, uh, we left the apartment, it was super sunny, super bright, really great day, and by the time we had picked them up and jumped on the subway, we got out and it started downpouring like crazy. It's funny because we didn't bring umbrellas or anything because we assumed the weather would be nice, so I walked these home in a torrential downpour essentially. And the moral of the story is I had three pairs of Electro Orange Air Jordan 1s, obviously I'm one person, didn't need three, so I actually sold off one pair as soon as I got them. 
and I still have two. This is one of the pairs I'm sitting on. Not sure if the resale value is too high on these. I haven't truthfully checked, but again, I'm trying to slim down the collection. So especially now towards the holidays, I think people are probably trying to buy more. So I'm probably going to sell this pair or the other one that I have at my house. You know, both dead stock, both brand new. So if you're interested, let me know. So this was the next sneaker that I picked up. It's a pair of 2013 Air Jordan 3s in the classic fire red colorway. So these ones I got for a steal. I got them from Sold Out here in Jersey City, New Jersey. I cleaned them up really well um, and you get your natural sort of things of age. So they're slightly yellowing right there at the midsole. The paint is sort of all over the place. Like you'll notice some cracking there, but that's typical for shoes, especially of this age and this nature. But I got these for a steal, like I mentioned, I got them for 70 bucks. I saw them come up on their inventory page, sold out too, and I jumped on it pretty quickly. Um, you can't beat it at 70 bucks. And they were used, they were worn, they came with OG nothing except the laces. So by OG nothing, they didn't come with insoles or, or the box or anything. It's really just the pair of shoes and the laces, which is totally fine. I have my own replacement insoles in there. These are a sneaker that I've been wearing a lot. I keep them in my rotation closet back there. Pull them on whenever, you know, I'm running to the grocery store, you know, if I'm trying to take these to the bar and I don't mind people spilling their drinks on them. But for sure, great pickup. Classic silhouette, classic colorway. It's really unclear when these will retro again, so glad to have this pair and, you know, essentially they're beaters. I don't have this next pickup with me, but I'll overlay some clips. They are the Air Jordan 1s in the fusion red colorway. I got them, actually I didn't get them, Steph hit on her sneakers account, there was a random sneakers restock on a bunch of bricks, is what the kids are calling them because the resale values are low, so it's a bunch of like returns and literally dead stock that Nike was sitting on. Dropped them on July 29th according to my spreadsheet, so I got them for retail, which you know is always a dub, it helps the algorithm whenever you buy from the sneakers app. You could find them in the resale market now, sub 170, so sub their retail price. So in that sense, I kind of got robbed. But in the same way, you know, I got a few wears out of them in the summer. I think the bright colorway is always nice. I pick them up, I have them in the collection, They're not with me right now, but you know, come summertime 2022, they'll definitely make an appearance on my feet once again. Moving along here, here is a New Balance pickup that I grabbed on August the 4th. These are a Made in USA New Balance 1400 um, in this orange and brown colorway. So these supposedly are a J Crew collab. So if you guys are familiar with New Balance, J Crew and New Balance team up on a bunch of different classic New Balance Made in USA silhouettes. And this is one of them. The style code is M1400BC. Uh, there's not a lot of information about them on the internet. But from what I was able to gather, they released back in 2013. There's not a lot of pairs of them floating around, so in a way, these are very rare. I don't think they're highly desirable at all. You know, I don't think any regular consumer is going to go back and find these. But I was able to catch them slightly worn at a really, really good deal. My spreadsheet here is showing $29.45. I bought them from Poshmark, and realistically, I probably should include this in a recent upload that I made on sneaker deals from Poshmark. I probably won't make a review video on them but just because, you know, they're worn. I've worn them so many times. I keep them in the same closet where I keep these Air Jordan 3s. For sure, great pickup. I wore these around Halloween. Again, today's November the 16th, so a little far off from Halloween now, but these definitely got a lot of wear in October. Classic silhouette, not my first 1400. If you look on the channel, I have that navy blue pair video on those. So if you wanna learn more about the silhouette, that one encompasses it very nicely. These next two pickups, I'm not going to talk too much about them because I dropped the video. They're the Sakai Collab Nike Blazer Lows, one in the khaki color and then the other in the iron gray. I picked them up on August 10th and the 11th. I just uploaded the video so you could go check that out if you want to learn more about them. And that's pretty much that. So getting down to the wire here, we have the final two pickups of the summer. This bottom one was the first one and it is the Air Jordan 1 High OG in the pollen colorway. So the box is a dead giveaway. And opening it up, you'll see shoes are brand new, never worn. And this is truthfully the first time I've pulled them out since I got them back in August. Shame on me for not being more timely in creating these videos and even wearing these things because, you know, shoes are meant to be worn. But this is an Air Jordan 1 that I was looking forward to for sure. Uh, just given the colorway, I love the black and gold. High school me would have gone crazy for these back in like 2010, just cause that was the school colors. It would have been over for these kids at school if I had these. A decade later, here I am with, you know, some proper school color sneakers, shout out the Cougars. <laughs> and um, 
Yeah, I think the quality is pretty decent on here. The leather is definitely a step up from the Shadow 2.0s, for example. They look very similar to the Iowa Dunks, which I also have. I brought them here to the apartment. I'll overlay some clips. Personally, I like that pair a lot more just because there's more heritage and a better story behind them versus these. These are just a black and gold colorway, no sort of backstory. I guess you could kind of point them to the New Love pair of mids. You know, the color blocking is very similar, uh, but it's also very different. Super clean, super nice, gonna wear them eventually. I was lucky enough to get these on the sneakers app. Again, I've been hitting heavily on the sneakers app. I think I'm gonna make a year-end video just showcasing all my pickups from the Nike sneakers app. This one was interesting because I was on the way to a family trip in Lake George out here in, I guess, upper New York. And I was lucky enough to get these on the highway. Cell service was good, thankfully. Um, so definitely glad to have these for sure. I'll eventually wear them, it's just a matter of one. And then last but not least, at least for this video, I picked up a few things after that towards the end of August, but those are already encompassed in other videos. But this one is the last one. I got these on August the 20th from Foot Locker. I was lucky enough to hit on an app raffle for these. I even got their receipt here. Yeah, they're 1460 Broadway location, so right in Times Square. Red Nike Sportswear Box. You already know the deal. Likely a dunk, just given we're in 2021, and they are a dunk. Kind of like the pollens. This is the first time I've pulled these out since August. I've been picking up way too many sneakers and just holding them. So I think this is a sneaker that's likely on the chopping block. These are the first use Nike Dunk Highs. I know Nike released this whole first use collection, tributing the anniversary or whatever of all of these classic Nike silhouettes. So on the mid panel there, you'll see the first use. I didn't really want it, but having them in hand, I think the colorway is actually pretty clean. So it's in the sail and green colorway. I think the laces are super unique on a Nike sportswear dunk, especially like you notice this lacing convention, like this dual lace thing on uh, the Sakai collab Nike models, but not on a dunk. I also like the retooled swoosh. It's not going to the back heel like on normal Nike dunks, like it has its own little, its own little shape. I love when Nike retools the swoosh uh, just because it's a sign of, you know, them actually changing things. I just mentioned I probably don't need these and realistically I don't. I have so many dunks in the collection that I already don't even wear as is and these are definitely on the bottom of the totem pole. So I'll eventually move these. Not sure what the resale is on these. But yeah, that's all. Again, I mentioned it's November 16th by the time I'm making this. I'm just trying to get this project off my computer onto my external drive, create some space. In a similar fashion, I'm trying to create space in the collection. So definitely follow me on social, buy some stuff. If you're interested, hit me up. That's all for now. Like, comment, subscribe, all that usual stuff. Catch you guys in the next video. Peace.